So picture this and Otter in a Cayman bump into each other. You just know this isn't going to be a friendly. How do you do right? The stillness of the river is about to get shattered. Now finding an Otter all by its lonesome, that's like hitting the lottery for a Cayman. And this guy is cashing in his ticket with some serious cold-blooded focus. But even with a winning ticket, this prize is putting up one heck of a fight. That otter is so slick and slithery, it just keeps squirming right out of the caiman's jaws. Can you imagine the frustration? The reptile is Dominance built for remains this, elusive. but it just can't get a decent grip. And just when you think it's over, that otter's frantic screams finally reach the family. And let me tell you, nothing gets a squad moving faster than a call for backup. They pull up and pause for a second, <laughs> but don't mistake that for fear. Oh no, they're just calculating, figuring out the best way to absolutely wreck this lizard's day. A couple of them, the real hotheads of the group, I guess, just couldn't wait. Suddenly that big bad reptile who was dominating one otter. Yeah, he's starting to look a little less confident now, isn't he? Under the water, it is an absolute chaotic battle of teeth and claws. And up top, the rest of the cavalry has arrived completely flipping the script on this English. This isn't just a rescue mission anymore, folks. You can tell this is personal. To the Cayman's credit, it's taking the full-on gang assault like a champ its armored hide and thick muscle, absorbing a ridiculous amount of punishment. I mean, this guy is fighting for his life down to the very last desperate heartbeat. He's snapping, he's thrashing, trying everything he can to break free and just save himself. They say true strength isn't about avoiding the pain, right? It's about how hard you fight back when everything is telling you to quit. And this Cayman. He's a testament to that. But eventually worn down and completely out of gas, he finally has to tap out surrendering to the furry, relentless mob surrounding him. But hold on. Just when you think the credits are about to roll, it turns out this whole drama had an audience. A jaguar has been watching this entire soap opera from the cheap seats, just chilling with the kind of patience only a top-tier predator has. And you have to respect the brain on this guy. It's weighing its options, and it's smart enough to realize, hey, why fight a whole gang of angry otters when I can just wait for them to finish the job and steal the leftovers? Now that's working smarter, not harder. The second that jaguar makes its move, the otters are like, you know what? You can have it. They just back the right off. In the water. No questions asked. They know a lost cause when they see one. This is the final boss of the river. A predator you don't even try to negotiate with, unless you want to end up on the menu yourself. That jaguar just radiates this quiet, absolute authority. Once it claims a meal, nobody is taking it back. Honestly, the smartest move is knowing when to walk away. Right? Pride will get you into a fight you can't win. But these otters are way too clever for that. They regroup, have a quick family meeting, and decide that their safety is way more important than one meal. Besides, it looks like everyone got a little bite to eat during the scuffle, which is more than enough to keep them happy for a few days. Deep in this winding river, there's an animal that's way more incredible than you'd think at first glance. I mean, these guys are everywhere thriving in all sorts of places. Rivers, lakes, even coastal waters across different continents. They're living in a world full of giants where anything and everything could be a potential threat. And the otter with its soft, cuddly-looking face is probably the most deceptive of them all. Because underneath that charming exterior, 
is a lightning fast, highly coordinated hunter with some serious brain power. Seriously, these otters have incredible problem solving skills. They use teamwork to hunt and to defend their babies. They can learn, they can adapt, and they remember escape routes, which makes them way more strategic than most predators give them credit for. The whole family moves like a single well-oiled machine, constantly chattering back and forth as they patrol their turf and keep the little ones safe. Their agility is just off the charts. They can outdance predators that are way bigger than them, zipping through the currents with incredible grace. They're curious, sure, but they are fiercely loyal. They'll defend their family with a kind of bravery you just don't see in animals their size. In these waters, you don't just think of the otter as cute. You'd better think of it as a force to be respected. Their main diet is fish, and they rely on insane reflexes and underwater speed to snatch their prey. You see those whiskers? They're not just for looks. They're like a super sensitive radar picking up the tiniest vibrations in the water and leading them straight to a hidden school of fish. Fish is their go-to meal because, well, the river's basically an all-you-can-eat buffet. Plus, their bodies are perfectly designed for it. They're like little torpedoes built to cut through the water with almost no resistance, which means they can chase things down for a long, long time without getting tired. But don't get it twisted. They're not afraid to go for bigger game in the river if the opportunity comes up. Of course, that also means they sometimes end up on the menu for the even bigger hunters lurking in the depths. Otters do everything together, travel, hunt, even bat, and they're always communicating with this whole language of chirps and whistles. And you know what? They love to play. They're always chasing each other around, diving and resurfacing. It looks like they're just goofing off, but it's actually practice that keeps them sharp. Within their tight-knit groups, every otter knows each other by scent, by sound, by how they act. It creates this deep sense of family that keeps them all connected. It's all built on mutual trust. Every single otter relies on the others to keep things safe, orderly, and just chill. It's a pretty amazing cooperative rhythm they've got going on. Now, jaguars use these exact same rivers to get around and hunt. And guess what? Both of them love to snack on capybaras and caimans, which means their hunting grounds totally overlap. Can you say awkward neighbors? Otters share their home with all sorts of creatures, and for the most part, they just move through the world without causing too much of a stir. Still, even in this shared space, they are always on high alert. They know that every neighbor has its own set of skills and its own place in the food chain, so they're respectful. Now for some cool facts, an otter's ribs are incredibly flexible which lets their chest compress when they dive really deep so they don't get crushed. They also have a super high metabolism, which is like having a little internal furnace that keeps them warm and ready for action, even in chilly water. That tail, it's not just for show. It's basically a high performance rudder that lets them make hairpin turns and gives them these insane bursts of speed. And as I said, that high metabolism keeps their muscles fired up in the cold. On top of that, their lungs are huge for their body size, letting them stay underwater for several minutes at a time, whether they're looking for food or hiding from something that's looking for them. They mark their territory using scent glands at the base of their tails, leaving a clear keep out sign for any rivals. And get this giant otters form breeding pairs that last their whole lives. It's a real family affair where the older siblings often stick around to help raise the new pups. 
They are constantly in physical contact, grooming each other, resting in a big pile, or just giving playful nudges. It's all about reinforcing those bonds that hold the family together. And that unity, that precious family-first mindset, it's a bond that truly lasts a lifetime.